Ryan Tedder. Ryan Benjamin Tedder is an American singer-songwriter, producer, and occasional actor. He is best known as the frontman of the pop rock band One Republic, though he is an independent career as songwriter and producer for various artists such as Adele, Beyonce, Birdie, Maroon 5, Demi Lovato, Ellie Goulding, B.O.B., Kelly Clarkson, Knan, Carrie Underwood, Jennifer Lopez, Jordan Sparks, Leona Lewis, Gavin DeGraw, Sebastian Ingrosso, Jim Class Heroes, One Direction, James Blunt, Far East Movement, and Paul Oakenfold. Tedder's production and songwriting work has proven successful commercially. Apologize, Leading Love, Halo, and Counting Stars all made it to the list of best selling singles of all time. In early 2014, Billboard magazine named him the undercover king of pop, and featured him on the magazine's cover. During the last quarter of 2013, and the first of 2014, he charted six top 40 hits, a record no other producer or songwriter had ever achieved. Early Life and Education Born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tidda was raised by an extended family of missionaries and pastors in a Christian church. He began learning to play the piano at the age of three via the Suzuki method. His early interest in music was prompted by his musician father and school teacher mother, who coaxed their young son into practicing piano in exchange for candy corn. Tedder started singing at the age of seven. A self-taught vocalist, Tedder began honing this skill at the age of twelve by imitating his favorite artists, who ranged from the Beatles to acts as diverse as Peter Gabriel, Stevie Wonder and Sting. He has commented, I sang for two hours a day every day of my life until I was 18. He continued to perform musically during his adolescence through church, school, and personally formed groups. In his senior year, he moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado. There he met and became friends with future One Republic bandmate Zach Filkins on their soccer team at the Colorado Springs Christian School. He attended Oral Roberts University in Oklahoma and began to showcase his own material there. Tedder completed his college education and graduated from ORU in 2001 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Public Relations and Advertising. Career Early Musical Career For years Tedder worked as a waiter, and also as a shop assistant at Pottery Barn before securing an internship at DreamWorks SKG in Nashville, singing on demos to break into the music scene. He produced demos for songwriters and labels, charging $300 to $400 a track. Tedder claims that DreamWorks offered him his first publishing deal shortly after his arrival. However, he was intent on pursuing a career as an artist and his first venture in that arena came via a different route altogether. At the age of 21, Tedder competed in a singer-songwriter competition and was selected by NSYNC singer Lance Bass as one of five finalists to perform on a one-hour special on MTV, performing original material in front of millions of viewers. The prize for the winner was a music contract with Bass's now-defunct management company, Freelance Entertainment. The contestants performed live and were then rated by judges and the audience. The highest scoring artist winning the contract. Tedder's performance of one of his songs, The Look, received the most votes from the judges and fans, and he won the competition. However, a contract with a recording label was not finalized and no album was released. Tedder later revealed the record and publishing deal he was offered wasn't real. It was just a bunch of hype that didn't turn into anything. Producing and writing one year after winning the MTV competition, Tedder caught the attention of the hip-hop producer Timbaland. Tedder commented that he was with Timbaland from 2002 to 2004 to develop as an artist while producing for other artists at the time. Tedder's work crossed many musical genres, ranging from hip-hop, R&B, rock, pop to dance techno, and he has had many chart successes both in America and the United Kingdom with a number of artists. In June 2007, Tedder signed a worldwide publishing administration deal with Cobalt Music Publishing. The deal included Tedder's new works and all songs not performed by One Republic. 
Tidda is the writer of the worldwide hit, Apologize, performed by his band One Republic. The song broke the U.S. Top 40 radio airplay record with 10,331 spins in one week. It was the number one most played song for five months until May 7, 2008 when Leona Lewis's Bleeding Love, a song that Tidda co-wrote and produced, broke the record previously set by Apologize, with 10,665 spins in one week. Bleeding Love was the best-selling single of 2007 in the United Kingdom topping the UK charts for seven weeks and was the fastest-selling CD of 2007 receiving the most radio airplay worldwide prior to its US debut. The song also earned a Best British Single Award nomination at the Brit Awards in February 2008 and reached number one in over 35 countries. Tedder and co-writer Jesse McCartney received an ASCAP award for writing the song. Tidda is also credited for writing the treatment for the second music video that was filmed for the U.S. release of Bleeding Love. It also earned a Record of the Year nomination at the February 2009 Grammy Awards. Tedda has written and produced singles with artists such as Adele, Jennifer Lopez, Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, Leona Lewis, Jennifer Hudson, Alexandra Burke, Backstreet Boys, Beyonce Knowles, Monrose, David Cook. Big Time Rush, Jordan Sparks, A.J. McLean, Chris Cornell, Ashley Tisdale, Ludacris, Gavin DeGraw, James Blunt, James Morrison, Paula DeAnda, Hilary Duff, Tim Balland, Bubba Sparks, Dima Billen, Shane Ward, Lima, Esme Denters, Clay Aiken, T. ATU, Menudo, Ashanti, Natasha Bedingfield, Whitney Houston, Westlife, Caris, Varsity Fan Club. Such a Babes, Daughtry, Mario, DJ Tiesto and a number of songs with various rock acts in the US and abroad. He worked with Jennifer Lopez on her 2007 single Do It Well from her album Brave, then worked with Kelly Clarkson on her 2009 album All I Ever Wanted, penning the songs If I Can't Have You, Impossible, Save You, Tip of My Tongue, and Already Gone, which features vocals from Tidda. He also worked with Beyonce on her album I Am. Sasha Fierce, penning the song Halo. The similarity between the songs Already Gone, and Halo prompted Clarkson to publicly state that she did not know about Halo, and that both songs were co-written by Tedda. Tedder's work with Beyonce also earned him two Grammy nominations with Record of the Year for Halo, and Album of the Year for I Am. Sasha Fierce at the 2010 Grammy Awards. Tidda worked extensively on Leona Lewis's second album, Echo, writing and producing many songs with her, three of which have made the album, including the first single Happy, You Don't Care, which features vocals from Tedda and Lost Then Found, which features One Republic. Tedda co-wrote and produced Jordan Sparks' lead single Battlefield from her second album of the same name. Tedda worked on American Idol season 8 runner-up, Adam Lambert's debut album. For your entertainment. In late 2009, Tedder launched his own record company, Patriot Records. Recently signed buzz artist My Name Is Kay released her debut EP through Interscope in 2012. Nikki Flora's single City Lights was released in the fall of 2010 on Universal Republic Records. Tedder also formed his own publishing company, Patriot Games Publishing in 2009 in alliance with Cobalt Music Publishing Worldwide. To date he has a stable of top-notch writers and producers such as Inflo, Noel Zancanella, and Bren Kutzel, cellist bassist of One Republic. The Patriot team of writers and producers with Tidda are credited with I Was Here by Beyonce, Good Life by One Republic, I Just Had Sex by The Lonely Island featuring Akin, Lost Then Found by Leona Lewis and One Republic, Just a Guy by B.C. Jean, Count on You by Big Time Rush featuring Jordan Sparks, and, and Then We Dance, from Australia's Got Talent winners Justice Crew. Tedda had expressed interest in collaborating with Adele after they met at the 2009 Grammy Awards ceremony in February. He arrived four hours early to their first studio session, buying time to better familiarize himself with some of her previous work. Although unaware of Adele's personal predicament, he composed the opening piano sequence and first few lines to what became the Love Lawn Ballad Turning Tables. 
Adele and Tedder arranged a second meeting and reconvened at Serenity West Studios in Los Angeles weeks later to write and record Rumor Has It. In an interview, Tedder recalled his astonishment at the singer's musicality and vocal prowess after she completed the main vocals to the song in 10 minutes, she sang it once top to bottom, pitch perfect, she didn't miss a note. I looked at the engineer then at her and said, Adele, I don't know what to tell you but I have never had anyone do that in 10 years. His work with Adele brought him a Grammy Award for Album of the Year at the 2012 Grammy Awards. In 2011, Tedder worked with Demi Lovato for her third album, Unbroken. Tedder commented, Demi blew me out of the water vocally. I had no idea how good her voice is. She's one of the best singers I've ever worked with. Literally, that good. I mean, she's a Kelly Clarkson level vocalist. And Kelly has a set of pipes. Tedda returned to work with Lovato from her fourth album Demi, where he co-wrote and produced the song Neon Lights, released in 2013. Tedda was featured in Far East Movement's 2010 hit single Rocketeer. Tedda composed a song for Van Nis Wu, Is This All in Taiwan? Tedda also worked with the band Big Time Rush in writing the single, Music Sounds Better With You off their second studio album, Elevate and he proceeded to produce it. He co-wrote David Cook's The Last Goodbye from his second album. He produced a song for Kna entitled Better. He also worked on tracks for Jennifer Lopez's 2011 album Love. One of the songs being Clothes Off, which did not make the album. In 2012, Tedder co-wrote Good and Goodbye for Carrie Underwood's fourth album, Blown Away, released on May 1, 2012. He produced tracks for Maroon 5's fourth album, Overexposed. Tedda co-wrote and co-produced the song Satellite for British band The Wanted which appears on their US album released on April 24, 2012. He also worked on B.O.B.'s Strange Clouds, released in May 2012. He produced and co-wrote single So Good, and is featured on Never Let You Go. He also recorded vocal tracks for Sebastian Ingrosso and Alesso's dance music track, which he also co-wrote, titled Calling. Tedda was featured on Jim Class Hero's single The Fighter. Tedda served as a judge for the 10th and 11th Annual Independent Music Awards to support independent artists' careers. In 2013, Tedda was a celebrity mentor during the second season of The Voice, Australia, for Delta Goodrum's team. He then worked with Goodram on Heart Hypnotic. Tedda was also an advisor of Adam Levine, frontman of Maroon 5, for his team from the fifth season of the reality competition show The Voice, US. Tedda was also present on Birdie's second album, Fire Within. One Republic As well as producing, Tedda also sings lead vocals and plays guitar and piano for the band, One Republic. The five-member band consisting of Tedder, Philkins, Eddie Fisher, Drew Brown, and Brent Kutzel was formed in Colorado Springs, Colorado, in 2002 by Tedder and his high school classmate Zach Philkins. Tedder has since revealed that the band was formed at a crossroads in his life, I was offered two publishing deals within two months of being in Nashville. I could have just written songs and lived a carefree life, but I knew that I had to be an artist. I wanted to form a rock band and create my own sound. Based in Los Angeles, One Republic started out as an unsigned act on the social networking website, MySpace. Since June 2004, they have accumulated over 50 million plays for their music on the site. As of 2009, they are the number one band on MySpace and have been in the MySpace Music's top artists since the summer of 2006. The band gained further exposure when their 2007 single, Apologize, was remixed and re-released on Timbaland's compilation album, Timbaland Presents Shock Value. The remix became an international chart hit in the fall of 2007. The song broke records after gaining 10,331 spins in one week. According to SoundScan, Apologize is the most legally downloaded song in U.S. digital history with sales of over 4.3 million digital downloads in the U.S. alone. It is also the second best-selling song of the decade. One Republic's debut album, Dreaming Out Loud, includes both the song's original version and version with Timbaland, 
and was released on November 20, 2007 on Timbaland's Mosley Music Group imprint via Interscope Records. The band had previously been signed to Columbia Records, and their album was due to be released in 2006, but this did not occur. Tido explained, crap happened. People got fired. Labels merged and politics abounded. Subsequently, the band was released from their deal with Columbia, and they were signed by Timbaland in the summer of 2006 becoming the first rock band to be signed to Mosley Music Group. Ted Ayer has commented on the success of his band's hit single, Apologize the toughest thing to do is write a hit song, but we had a hit song before we had an album. What has happened has been really strange and really great. Ted Ayer is a multi-instrumentalist. During One Republic's performances, he often switches from singing lead vocals to playing guitar, bass guitar, glockenspiel, tambourine, or piano. On rare occasions, he plays drums alongside the band's main percussionist, Eddie Fisher. The band finished recording their second album, titled Waking Up, on August 25, 2009, and released their lead single, All the Right Moves to Radio and iTunes Everywhere Except Germany and Austria, where Secrets was released instead. The album was released on November 17, 2009 in the United States. To date, the second U.S. single, Secrets has reached over 2 million digital downloads, and third single Good Life broke into the top 10 on iTunes and Radio Everywhere. In January 2012, the band was working on their third studio album, titled Native. The album was released on March 26, 2013 to mostly positive reviews from music critics. It became the band's highest charting album to date, as well as their first top 10 album, debuting at number 4 on the Billboard 200. It sold 60,000 copies within its first week. A portion of the proceeds from the sales of Feel Again, a single from the album, will be donated to save the children's Every Beat Matters campaign to support training frontline health workers around the world. Personal Life Ted Earn is married. He openly acknowledged and thanked his wife Genevieve in the liner notes of One Republic's debut album Dreaming Out Loud. Tedder and Genevieve have a son, Copeland Cruz Tedder, born on August 2, 2010 in Denver, Colorado. Tedder's second cousins, Adam, Ashley and Austin Clark comprise the band Sons of Sylvia and were formerly in the Clark family experience. He co-wrote their song Love Left to Lose. Despite being a Christian, he does not want to be labeled as a Christian artist. He has on one arm a tattoo written in old Japanese which he got while he was in Osaka, meaning God's will, and literally means God gives and God takes. Tedder became involved with Southern Hospitality, a restaurant co-created in 2007 by Justin Timberlake at 2nd Avenue in Manhattan, when it opened a second location in Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan. On August 22, 2011, it was announced that Ted Earth had become the first franchisee of the Southern Hospitality Barbeck brand and that there were plans to bring the concept in ten cities across the United States including Denver, Nashville, Dallas, Austin, Houston, New Orleans, Atlanta, Phoenix, Palo Alto and Washington, D.C. They opened a restaurant in the St. Elmo Hotel in October 2012.